All right, we are in Capture One, and as you can see, this is the shot that we bespoke in the intro. And we are about to make some annotations now based on past brief. And I would like to point out what we were thinking about doing uh, to the image in general. And later in Photoshop, I'm going to show you uh, the steps that are planned for the retouching process. So first things first, let's take the annotations tab. Um, just to mark out what is important now, I'm going to take the green color. So you can see here is a bright highlight. We're going to dim that down. Same goes for the nose here and also here. Slightly two bright highlights. And um, possibly we will uh, lighten the shadow below the chin a bit. Let's see. So let's make it here, like the plus sign. And the other things um, that are going to be dealt with in uh, Photoshop. So now you can see what um, is planned for the uh, capture run process. I'm going to take these away again just to make sure we have a clean surface. And uh, I think I'm going to start with um, the white balance. And um, since we wanted to go to the more pastel range of things, I think we are somewhere, uh, we're going to something like 5,800 and maybe a little more reddish here to make the skin more vivid and alive. Um, let's check the exposure tab. Um, we could possibly darken the lights a bit, especially to bring it back some texture here in the forehead. Just trying out where the best uh, retouching base is going to show up. I think we're going subtle, minus uh, 0 0.1. I think I'm going to take out a little bit of contrast. So. If you, if you take a look what it does, it just softens the skin uh, a bit. And I don't want to go too far, just a bit like so. And I think you can see when we push out and hold hover over this arrow pointing to the left, we can go back and forth. And this uh, seems like a good base for me. I want to work with the high dynamic range a bit. And I want to take down um, the highlights a bit as well to show more substance in the skin, but not as much, maybe minus 10. And uh, I want to open up the shadows a bit so that we are not going too dark. And uh, I think the, the white also needs to be taken down so that we can show more texture of the skin, but I guess also something around minus five to minus 10. Yeah, we can see much more detail right now. Um, what we also want to do is take a look at the noise reduction. Let's zoom out a little bit and check the the noise that is visible. Sometimes it makes sense to reduce uh, the amount of noise reduction in the luminance and also in the color. Um, let's see. Like so. It's a slight move but it does make a difference in print. Let's uh, take a look. I don't know if you can see that uh, on the screen recording, but for now on my uh, calibrated screen, uh, it does look very well. And um, we're gonna move on with uh, sharpening. In this case, uh, I think uh, it doesn't hurt if we leave the sharpening set to the default stage. 
uh, what happens when we take it out let's take a look you can see that the hair uh, on the eyebrows gets a little more blurry and the eyes as well so we need to sharpen it anyway later let's take a look at the skin there's as you can see there's some some things that need to be dealt with later in Photoshop so there's a lot of hair uh, that is not really visible so it's not the best base to work on but we will do it okay let's uh, put it back to 180 I like the sharpness of the eyebrows and uh, also the lashes and it doesn't hurt uh, to use it uh, in this scenario here so we keep it um, what I like to try is to take down the clarity a bit so minus 15 we're gonna take out a little bit of contrast and we're gonna put in some structure not too much but we sharpen it a bit just to have a nice crisp base to start working from and um, now when we look at this image there's one more thing uh, I want to do so the forehead is still a little bright and since I don't want to alter the whole um, image uh, I'm gonna create a radiant mask uh, and a new layer and we call that light top and we're going to the masking tab and a search for the gradient tool which should be here yes and we're gonna draw in a gradient from the top since we want to work on the forehead okay we are going to hide that pushing M and what I like to do now is try to take down the exposure a little more like so let's see just to draw the attention more to the eyes and not as much to the top of the head right and um, let's see what we can do is there any other thing um, possibly not I guess we are done here we will deal with this light patch later in Photoshop so if we take a look at the complete before after you can see that we have changed the color we have changed um, the structure of the skin and brought it back we have uh, applied some sharpening and we will bring this uh, to Photoshop now where we will move on with the retouching process therefore I'm going to go uh, with Photoshop file and we'll send it right to Photoshop and work uh, in an 8-bit mode so here we are and from here we will move on uh, with the retouching process 